In a perfect world, everyone would have an equal opportunity to reach their maximum health potential. However, research shows factors like housing, employment, education, racism, and other forms of discrimination all can create barriers to optimal health, especially for certain populations. For example, the tobacco industry has aggressively marketed menthol cigarettes to the black community for decades, resulting in dramatically higher use, lower rates of quitting, and higher rates of disease. Extensive lobbying efforts allow this exploitation to persist. Progress made in reducing the use of cigarettes has been concentrated among white, high-income, and well-educated populations. Meanwhile, the tobacco industry continues to find new ways to reach youth and populations that face consistent discrimination. Meet e-cigarettes and HTPs, or heated tobacco products. E-cigarettes, also called vapes, heat a liquid to produce an aerosol to inhale. This aerosol usually contains nicotine, an addictive substance, a variety of seductive flavors, and other less well-known substances such as metals. Many e-cigarettes are also easy to conceal and are designed like cool, techie products. That's why it's not surprising that in 2018, one in five high school students used e-cigarettes, prompting the Surgeon General to declare youth vaping an epidemic. Even more troubling, e-cigarettes can lead to the use of cigarettes, a product well known to be deadly to users and those around them. In short, youth who vape nicotine are at risk of becoming lifelong addicted adults, a loyal customer base indeed for the tobacco industry. HTPs are similar to e-cigarettes, but heat tobacco instead of a liquid. None of these products are safe. Researchers at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health reviewed the literature on e-cigarettes and HTPs in regard to use, susceptibility, advertising, and access to better understand potential disparities by factors such as race, age, education, sexuality, and more. The results illuminate some alarming trends. For example, the use of fruit-flavored e-cigarettes was higher among adolescents and women. Exposure to e-cigarette ads was higher among LGBT populations, as well as people living in urban areas. Also, evidence showed that more vape shops exist in neighborhoods with higher concentrations of Blacks, Hispanics, and Asians. Above all, the use of e-cigarettes and HTPs is not as simple as a personal choice. To effectively address these products in a way that allows everyone to achieve their maximum health, we must understand the root causes for the differences in use, such as the role of systemic racism, where you live, and the actions of the tobacco industry. This way, we can make informed decisions and strive towards a healthier and more just society.